Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you the uh, easiest and uh, fastest way to install GDAO uh, on your operating system. Uh, it should work on Windows, Mac, and also uh, Linux. I'm going to show you how to install step-by-step uh, -step using Linux and also uh, Windows. And GDAO stands for uh, Geospatial Data Abstraction Library. Uh, it is a very powerful uh, a library that uh, support a uh, power many uh, open source geospatial uh, packages and also uh, desktop GS, for example, QGS, uh, also ArcGIS. But uh, GDAO, uh, because it's written in C language, so uh, in order to install it, you need a compiler. And uh, it's particularly challenging to install on uh, Windows uh, 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 system. And um, you can use Conda or Mamba to install it because it has been already pre-compiled. But the downside is that you have to in, uh, download uh, Anaconda or Miniconda to install it. It takes some time. Uh, but today I'm going to show you another way. It's actually very simple. Just take a minute or two, then you should get it up and running. And so the one that I'm going to use is called uh, Pixie. So this is a, a Python uh, package management tool that allows you to install uh, packages from uh, Conda Force. And it's pretty fast and you don't, it's a very small, um, tiny package. So if you go to pixie.sh, uh, the website, and then on the homepage here, uh, you should be able to find the installation uh, instructions so for linux and mac i'm going to use this one and for windows i'm going to use the other one and so uh, i'm going to show you on linux first i'm going to just copy this one and then uh, i'm on linux computer so i'm just going to open the terminal and then from here just simply uh, paste the, um, the command line just hit enter and it's going to download this one from um, github and after that uh, you're going to put this one onto your uh, user directory so you're going to see from this one here after that, I would recommend just close this one. So next, let's show you how to install GDAO on your uh, on Linux computer. So you're welcome to go to any project library. So I'm going to create a new one, for example, called uh, Geo. And then, so inside here, you can open your terminal. Now, uh, Pixie should work now. So you can just type Pixie. You will see here it works uh, just perfectly on the Linux computer. So after that, uh, what you need to do, uh, if you already have a project that has a... a, a Pyproject.tomify, then you can also just uh, use this one. So you'll be pixie init. Okay. And take a look. Uh, after init, you will see it's going to create some of these uh, files in here. So this is the important one, pixie.tomify. Uh, and this is the one where it's going to manage the project for you. So if you add a new dependency, it's going to update this one. And also it's going to have a log file uh, later. So uh, let me show you. So this is how we're going to install, for example, uh, Jita. All we need to do is just pixie, add GDAO, and that's it. So it's going to basically go to uh, Conda Force to find the depend uh, find the package, and then it's going to resolve all the dependency. Take a look. So just within the maybe 10 seconds, so now we have GDAO installed on this. And what you can see here inside, right, EMVS, so this is kind of similar to Conda Force. And after that, if you click Deep, I believe, and then uh, Python 3.12, so this is by default the... Uh, uh, Python button being installed, and then I believe should be the site packages. So you see here OS0. So this is the one actually has already been installed. So how can we test it? Uh, what you can do here, just type pixie shell, right? And then you can get into the shell. After that, then you can use just like as a terminal. So I'm going to use uh, GDAO uh, info here and see this one is 3.912. And this is the one that's already been installed. Actually, on my uh, operating system, I also have GDAO. So, for example, GDAO info. The, the tools should be different, right? So, this is the one on my system. It's not within the Pixie. So, the Pixie one installs 3.9.2. And you can also use Python. So, after you activate the terminal, uh, the shell, you can just type Python. So, this is the one, basically, the virtual environment of this Pixie um, one in here. And you can do the same thing up from OS Geo, import GDAO. And you see, it works uh, just fine. So this is how easy it is to install GDAO on a um, Linux computer or also on a Mac. It should take you less than two minutes and then you should be uh, up and running. So next, I'm going to show you how to do that on Windows uh, as well. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to uh, open my Windows uh, computer here, remote desktop. And so let me show you. I'm going to, uh, again, open uh, the website and similarly because i'm on windows i'm going to open this one and so i'm going to just go to copy this after that 
you can open anywhere you like for example i'm going to open my uh, download directory and then open the terminal so then just paste this one hit enter it's automatically install the binary to your computer now it's on your uh, in your system path so after that i will just close this one and again open the terminal uh, one more time and then we can just type pixie to make sure it works okay everything works fine and so now what you can do is to create a project a folder for a project for example i'm going to call it a geo then i'm going to cd geo inside here right now we don't have anything yet so similarly to on linux computer i'm just going to type pixie in it and then if you go inside right now we have this small uh, three small files and after that this is where you can just install gtal so very simple and easy pixie add gtal hit enter and it's going to use the conda first channel uh, the uh, windows uh, operating system and see within less than 10 seconds so now similarly you have this um, uh, envs and the lead so this is for um, um, windows operating system so the file path will be slightly different but inside here you should find this very similar file structure uh, like what i showed you here uh, earlier on uh, linux computer and again very similar now we can activate the shell just uh, pixie shell and then um, inside here you can just um uh, what uh, just type any command for example digital info version right 3.9 3.2 and if you go to my operating system here uh, i'm not sure if i install digital or not uh, probably not you see so on my uh, operating system digital is not available because i didn't install it but right now we are in this uh, powershell uh in within the pixie shell so we can uh, see the digital version and similarly you can just type python and then from here from uh os geo import gtal and you see everything works fine so this is probably the easiest way to install gtal uh, on uh, uh, windows computer in 2024 and after that uh, i can also for example let me do it one more time uh, so i can open you can in, uh, add more packages by default uh earlier we install gtal so if you open this uh, pixel tomo file it's going to add the list of dependencies to here if we install more for example i can uh, uh pixie add jupyter lab right so assume that you're going to use a um, jupyter notebook uh, on here then we can just uh, install it so it's going to actually install you see so i uh, putting jupyter lab under the dependencies this of this project so pixie is a very nice one because it use a uh, contact for us it's the default channel to get packages so you can install all those packages that might be very challenging to install uh, on a windows computer okay so now we have this uh, jupyter lab installed so the next step will be to just pixie shell and then you should be just type jupyter lab you should be able to open jupyter lab and then from there you can also use um um gtal on uh, jupyter so let's create a new notebook and then so from here i can just type from osgo import yeah and just run enter see works fine i can also type this on gtal info oops see? so everything works as expected and super easy there's no need to do a compiler there's no need to download a lot for example anaconda or miniconda and you can certainly also use qgs uh, when you install uh, qgs you can also install gtal but the limited downside is that uh, it's you need to download a large package one two gigabyte this one is very tiny and also it's a virtual environment after you're done i can just close it and i can remove this one if i don't i don't need it anymore so it's project based i'm going to open this property here you will see this is like one to two gigabyte and you can just delete it uh, so if you uh have a link um uh, because it's still being used so i might need to reboot the system anyway so you can delete it afterwards but if i have a gtal installed along the desktop yes sometimes you don't want to mess up because there's only a certain only one version but for this one you can actually install multiple versions multiple uh python version and also gtal versions so it's very easy to set up it takes you less than two minutes then you can have gtal up and running on your uh, preferred operating system okay so that's all for this uh, video i hope you find it useful I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.